Hey everyone, B Dan here, and today I'm bringing you all another Minecraft episode. In this episode, we are going to be working on my plot. You may ask what I'm going to be working on. Well, the newest things that I've been building are these fountains, and I have one left that needs to be built, so that's what we're going to build today. I have everything that I need to use in my inventory, so let's go on and get right into it. This fountain is located right on the side of this graveyard and this one which is being built. And this is the section of land that is all set out. So what I need to do is build from the very end, one, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth row to the right, I put a blue wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. And I do the same all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six and it lines up. Now let's go on and add it on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And I'll go on and add the lining completely around the fountain so that we can see all that we need to build and not make very many errors, if any at all. Alright, I need more of these slabs since I will be using them on the fountain itself. So I'll go on and grab that with the little bit of quartz I have left. Two, three, four. I think four will be enough to get 24 because I don't need very many for the fountain itself. Alrighty, got these placed down. Now let's go on and build this whole area where it will be the underground which isn't seen much but I still did put a nice landscape I will put glowstone plain old glowstone on each corner and then the rest of it is all below ground so there's glowstone here 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 and here and then the rest of it is all the way down here so I will be breaking all of these blocks in order to put all the blocks down now as you see my shovel is very low on durability so I need to be careful so that I don't break the shovel Let's see 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 5 durability 1 2 4 1 durability break one block and now it's at zero so if I were to break one more block I would lose this shovel I do have a few more shovels but as you see I have used up a lot of shovels and I haven't put them together because I've just used them all down to one durability what I'll go on is since I will need a shovel in the future I will go on and just make another shovel because I will need to use it again when I'm building more underground which I showed you all alrighty now that I have my shovel built now I'll just go on and finish breaking all of this it's a little slower since it's not efficiency 3 but it does the job just as well especially because I really only needed the shovel because I've been working on my plot I normally don't really have a need for shovels because I don't really go mining very much anymore but since I've been building my plot, I have really needed shovels since it really helps with the building so that I don't have to break it with my fist. It goes much faster. Alright, now that's all mined out. Let's go on over here and see what the pattern is. If I remember right, there's blue wool on each side of the glowstone, then ice on that side, and then there's nether quartz pillar. So I won't be needing that for a while. And I'm pretty sure I have this down. I put blue wool right here. And then ice. So it goes the same, just like this. Add the blue wool. Alright, and then it goes down one more block. And I place the nether quartz. In the center of this fountain, I also add glowstone, which is right here. So I add the glowstone like that. Add this nether quartz. Got to make sure it is 
facing in the right direction just like that and this was the one that wasn't placed right and then on each corner I also place another quartz now I take stone bricks and place it all the way around in a circle like so and then all I have left to do is add ice blue wool and then the final bit of nether quartz just like that so now we have the base of the fountain completed and in case you're wondering the nether quartz on each of these sides here is down in the ground so that the water when it flows it will naturally flow into that so that it doesn't take over the whole area now is the more complicated part for making the first layer first thing I'm gonna do though is add slabs to each of the portions that are covered with ice all the way around because it makes a design so I go on and put slabs here 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 and in these two places next as we come over here on attached to the slab is blue wool and then ice and then the nether quartz so I go on and put a blue wool like that ice and then another blue wool just like that if I remember yes that's correct alright so blue wool on each of those just like this and then there's the ice on the inside like this now we have nether quartz which goes right on here so I'll go on and place that with dirt underneath oops my bad alright now we got this nether quartz placed I need to break the dirt since I won't be needing it to block the flow of the water and because it doesn't look good you need it to all look the same and match now we have that just build straight up one with ice on the corner and then the exact same thing only a little opposite so the slabs are on the top instead of on the bottom so what I'll do right here is place dirt and then ice just like this then I'll go down and break this ice in the dirt that I had placed and then it's the exact same thing so now all I do is just put dirt all the way around on the top of the design so that it is easier to build on just like this and then the same exact design so I'll go on and place the nether quartz pillars on the nether quartz pillars just like this only I messed up there I'll fix that then I add the blue wool and then lastly the ice but I messed up there so the blue wool goes right where this pillar is alright so pillar blue wool ice just like that I'll go on and break all of this extra dirt and then place the nether quartz slabs on the top of the blue wool so that it matches the bottom of it now all we need to do is do that on each side so blue wool and then ice like that and then the slabs just like that Let's make sure that is the correct way as I come over to this one the ice is on the blue and yep the ice is right on the blue so that's correct blue wool ice blue wool then I'll add the slabs and then I'll come again and add the final portion of the first layer of this fountain alright so there we have it always want to make sure that it's correct from the other fountain so we'll look at it here run down to this fountain and even though it's 
has the water flowing in it in the next layer. That is the exact same as this fountain right here. Now the next layer is doing the same thing with the ice, putting nether quartz and then nether quartz one layer above it. So that's what I'll do now. Right where this corner is and above the ice, nether quartz, dirt, nether quartz, just like that. And we'll do that in four sections. So nether quartz, nether quartz, nether quartz. Break the middle one. Break that dirt. Nether quartz, nether quartz, nether quartz. Break that one. And then the last row. There we go. Then I'll remove this dirt since I don't need it in the way. There we have it. Now I have quartz slabs like that and like that. So I need to make sure it's on the top and the bottom because it's the same as the bottom one. So there's bottom, top, top, bottom. So it is swapped actually. I'll go on and fix that. Now I'll go on and check these ones just to make sure. Top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, and lastly, yes, just like that, top and then bottom. So I was correct. All right, there we go. We have half of it set out and I'm going to need more quartz slabs. So I'll go on and use the rest of my nether quartz once I run out right here. I have enough to make six more and let's see, one, two, three, four. I think that is the right amount because I will have, well, it might not be the right amount. Let's see, I'll have six and I'll have one block left. That's pillar quartz and the rest of my quartz is in this one and that's pillar quartz. So I may need to go buy just one from the warp shop, which won't cost very much. So I'll go on and do that if I need it because I do need two for the very top of the fountain. All right, so I got that all the way around and I have two left, so I won't need any more. I have the perfect amount of nether quartz that my friend Josh R28 sold me for a very good price. He gave me a few stacks and then I went on and paid him. And so I think I got three stacks of the quartz blocks and then one and a half stacks of the block of quartz and it was a very good price. So thank you Josh R28 because that really helped me out a lot or else I would have had to buy it for the warp shop for probably three times the price and no one really wants to have to buy from the warp shop because a lot of people have an item that they don't necessarily need and you can buy it from someone else for much cheaper so that's what I try to do when I am buying stuff or need stuff I try to buy it from someone else because they have a cheaper price now thankfully I just fell through because I just saw that this was built down a little too much. I had it down two layers when it's only one layer. So I'll go on and fix that. And since I'm at it, I'll have to do dash PH so that I can get out of this fountain. I went on and broke the dirt blocks. And I had a little bit of don't send duplicate messages and then wait two seconds to send the one message remaining. But that is how the fountain is. And if we look on this side, it's the same thing only there's no water in it and there is no quartz slab on the very top so I'll go on and add one of the quartz slabs which is right here like that and then all I need to do is add the dirt on the bottom so that the water flows correctly if I were to just leave this the same it wouldn't flow the proper way it would just go straight down but if I add this dirt like this it will then flow correctly so I have this quartz slab right here which I forgot so I do need one quartz slab which is kinda of funny I still have the dirt in this fountain I believe or no I removed it already alright that's fine I think it was this fountain over here that I still have the dirt in because I built that fountain right here and then I built this one 
then I built this one and finally that fountain. So go on and look at it because it is the same as the other two and the dirt goes right up to this quartz slab which is on the third level. So I need to make sure that the dirt goes to the correct height first, second, and then third level and it does. So now all I'll do is add the water buckets like this and then this water like this and if we look it flows out in the proper way the way that I check is if you notice up here there's the water it starts to flow to the side right at this bottom quartz so if I come over to this fountain you'll see that it does the same where it starts to flow outwards more as you see right here when it hits this quartz so that is all we need to do other than add the final quartz but for some reason it kind of looks a little weird I noticed on the water flow are my eyes tricking me or does it look a little it does look a bit different I'll go on and fix that once I finished because I just have the final steps which are to break the dirt and then add the final nether quartz slab on the top so this will take a little bit since a little while since I am underwater but I should be able to break it all in one or two breaths. I'll go on and take some damage here but it will be alright. I have the regen which helps and go on and do dash ph. If you notice I typed dash plot h instead of dash ph because the command I had done before was dash pho and I wasn't sure if I did dash pho or just dash ph. So you can do any of the commands with dash p you know you can do dash p l and then h o m and it'll do you to your plot but all you need is dash p h so there we have it i'll go on to the warp shop since i don't have any nether quartz slabs because i'm out and i'll go on and buy a bit of nether quartz right here so that i don't waste my money because i don't have any other use for nether quartz so i'll see the prices eight would make approximately 12 nether quartz slabs and then I would get four for ten so I think it would be fair and our fairer to buy from this because it'd be eight for 16 and I would get 12 or four for ten so this is definitely a better deal I'll go on back to my plot make the final row of the quartz and I realized I get six not four so buying that way was definitely the better deal and after that I finished all of the fountains and that was a big project for me to build but I got it done I worked today and yesterday only there's one more thing I need to do which I just realized I need to add the water on the bottom the way that it flows it doesn't fully be flown on I can't really think of the exact word but I'll show you once I make this pool right here it doesn't fully flow all the way here it just goes straight down so I add on each of these stone bricks I add some water flowing and then on each of the blue wools I add it and it makes it still not not moving so it gives it a very nice looking effect when you add the two together just need to do that on three more sides and then the fountain will be completely done then what I'm gonna do is add flowers around it probably since I have this walkway probably add a little walkway up to it and probably add some flowers around it I will eventually remove this wall of dirt since I don't need that there we go add the water like so here and there and then I have one more side to do and then it will all be perfect for how I had imagined it to be built there's a little mistake right there two more buckets let me know in the comments how you like this fountain I personally love this I wanted to make a really elaborate fountain and I had a few models and this is the favorite one that I eventually built and as you see I like it a lot because I am building it and showing it on YouTube 
thank you for watching everyone I really appreciate getting a thumbs up so if you liked this video please leave a thumbs up and leave a comment below how you like these fountains that I have thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time